Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As told by Key, I am Key. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, welcome back, family. I had to do this video today because, you see, I don't have no hair, no face. Like, I just wanted to be serious for a moment. Um, usually, I am serious, but, like... Everyone has been so upset about this Roseanne cancellation and it has done nothing but piss me off how upset people are about her show being canceled and it pisses me off because when black people were upset that the Cosby show was born being taken out of syndication and pulled down when black people were upset that they were going to start like removing certain um, a different world episodes. Um, there's a couple episodes that they do not air. They will show certain episodes and there's certain episodes they won't. We are looked at like we're crazy. Oh, how could you support a, a rapist? How could you want something that belonged to him um, to be on television? How could you even still watch that show? He was doing all of these bad things while that show was on the air and whatever. We were crazy. Oh, how could you? Why would you? Da, 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 da. And Roseanne is allowed to make sexual, not even sexual, racist remarks. Scream America's great again because Trump's in office. And everybody's like, they tackled real life problems head on in the show. So did the Cosby show. So did the Cosby show. So it's okay to punish a group of fans, as I've seen somebody say, it's okay to group punish a group of fans of the Cosby show, but it isn't okay to punish a group of fans of the Roseanne show. That's not okay. Oh, everybody has these sentimental moments and all these sentimental reasons why this show should stay on air. I grew up with this show and my mother and my aunts and my uncles and they're gone and I just get a little peace and da da da, da. But Bill Cosby did the same. The Cosby show. Not even, we're not talking about the people, the personal, right? What they do in life outside of the show, correct? That's what I've seen people say everywhere. My Twitter, my face, everywhere. Oh, you shouldn't cancel the show because of her actions and personal life. But we should cancel the show, the Cosby show, because of his actions and personal life. The TV show seems stupid to some. But just like people feel like Roseanne has some sentimental value for them, the show, the Cosby Show had sentimental values for black people. A lot of black people that grew up in that time when the Cosby Show first came out, they had families that were on drugs. They were living with their grandmothers. They might have been in foster care. And watching the Cosby Show presented hope that one day, one day, the people in their lives could be similar to this or they could create something similar to what they see on the cause we show a successful father a successful mother um children that did stupid things like children do but were still pretty good kids all in all it presented something for a lot of people cosby on the show was a lot of people's tv's dad like tv dad because their dad wasn't there the whole show is being punished. Like, I keep seeing people, oh, you shouldn't punish the whole cat. The whole show on the Cosby's are being punished. Every time a show goes into syndication, they cut a check. And now those checks won't be cut because now the show's not in syndication anymore. So, what's the difference? What's the difference? And please don't tell me, oh, Cosby was a rapist. She's racist. Rapist, racism. Sins are sins, right? Like, they're all equal. So, why are so many people so ready to fight? And I mean petition abc oh you should not cancel the show uh it, it's such an amazing show they were tackling ra she's racist though she's racist or on some effed up level racist or has racist tendencies i'm not saying that she's racist because she supports trump i'm saying she's racist because she says racist shit and that makes her racist period that's it like it's not about Trump. I could care less about her supporting Trump. I know black people that support Trump. They, they're not racist. They're black. 
They understand and are aware of what it is to be black in America. She's not racist because she's a Trump supporter. She's racist because the bitch is racist. She posts a picture after with her son and his best friend who's black. And you guys are like, she has a picture with a black person. So the fuck what? So what? So what? So what? You got racist doctors and don't even know it. What is that supposed to mean to me? Like you walk into establishments with lawyers who are racist, doctors who are racist, police who are racist, and you don't know because they have on a uniform and you have no clue and you just assume because they work with the black community on some level or another, they can't be. That means nothing to me. One picture out of the tweets that she said over the years, out of the statements that she makes when she's on TMZ, when they catch her, she's racist because she's racist, not because she supports Trump. That's it. That's the only reason that ABC is pulling. First of all, Wander Sykes, black, is an executive producer of the show. She quit. The president of ABC is black and she canceled the show. Get the fuck over it. Get over it. At least her old shows are still in syndication. At least you guys still have something to fall back on. You Roseanne people who are everywhere, all pissed off and up in arms and Feeling like the world has come to an end. Her shows are still in syndication. The old ones are still in syndication. You can still find her shows. So she gets to make racist remarks. And nothing besides the new show being cancelled. Is happening to her. But Cosby does something. Not saying he was right. I have my own opinions on that. But I'm going to hold them for another conversation. Cosby everything is taken down. Everything is taken down. He was a rapist. She's a racist. So, tomato, tomato. It's all the same red little brown thing. I don't care. I don't care. Everyone else on his show is being punished. Now that the show's out of syndication, they're being punished. No one gave a shit about that, right? But you care about the, the other actors and actresses that's on the Roseanne show. You care about that. That hurts. Oh, no, God. The other people that's on the show, they're suffering. So what? They knew what it was. They know how she tweets. They know how she acts. They are aware of who the hell she is as a person. And they knew that she did and said things that presented a problem. And they still came back on and they did the show. Sooner or later, it was going to be an issue. So, what's the difference? The people on the Cosby show had no idea that he was out having party drugs having sex with women. They didn't know, and they've been punished. The people that's on Roseanne show are well aware of how she feels and where she stands with things. What's the difference? I'm happy they canceled the show, and I'm happy that they canceled the show that fast. That fast. Because under any other circumstance, under any other, any other circumstance, we would be going through investigations and all this other crap, and her show would still be on, and she'd get three or more, more checks, but this... This is what needs to happen. Punishment immediately to people who deserve to be punished. Because people who don't deserve to be punished, they get punished so fast. And then by the time everybody wants to make it right, it's already too late. She deserved it. The show deserves to be canceled. So if you are somebody who are who's on my channel and you like Roseanne, I'm sorry if I'm pissing you off. But the reality is what it is. She deserves to be canceled. Do it suck for the other people? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks for them. And it also sucks for anybody else that's been in this world and somebody's been punished and everyone else got punished for that one person's behavior. I'm sorry that it's a sentimental show. Okay, so what? So what? What's the point? What's your problem? Sentimental shows get taken down all the time for personal reasons. Nothing that the show did, right? Like, it's not like she did something on the show that made it get canceled. Her personal behavior got the show canceled. Just like people that were talking to me. Oh, Cosby deserves to be canceled. Okay, so does Roseanne. Because the same people that were telling me the Cosby show needed to be canceled are the same people telling me Roseanne shouldn't be canceled. She did that in her personal life. That shouldn't affect the show. He did that in his personal life. It should not affect the show. Or the other people on it. Raven Simone was a child. Keisha Knight Pulley was a child. They were kids. They were kids when he was out doing what he was doing. 
Felicia Rashad had no idea. So what's the difference? Why why will you argue with me that the Cosby show needs to go down? But well, when I say the Roseanne show needs to go down, now you want to say the opposite. No, it has she did that on Twitter. It shouldn't. Why not? Why not? He wasn't even in the public. He was in the hotel room and did bitches just came out of nowhere 15, 16, 20, 30 years later talking. Talking. And we gotta take that word for him. Ain't no rape kits, ain't no nothing. We just gotta take that word for him because it's an uh, uh, alarming amount of people. She posted it for the world to see. Okay? So there is no lying. There is no backpedaling. She posted it. It's it's tweets, pictures, campaign. Why y'all so surprised? Like why y'all why y'all surprised that she got canceled? How many times you gonna call black people apes and monkeys and ugly? How many times you gonna talk about Jews? How many times you gonna scream America is great again? Like how many times? How many and, and mean it in a racist way? Because I'm not thinking she means it like America's great again. Because we're going through some shit. We're going through some stuff, but we go through some stuff with every president, every president, black, white, and different. Every president. So I'm just concerned. And I had to come talk to y'all before I even pluck my hair out. You know how I, I must be angry about something. My hair not even plucked out. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it why you guys can't just call a spade a spade and let it go. Now, like, let it go. She been punished. Okay. The show has to come down. Okay. But you now you on Twitter trying to start petitions. The president of ABC is black. You can't say shit like that. Keep it, but if, listen... Let me tell you something. This is about to sound so fucked up. If you racist, keep that shit between you and your family and the privacy of your own home. I'm down for freedom of speech, but when you're a celebrity and you're in the public eye and you want our money, because every time you give her a view, you pay her. Every time you tune in on Tuesday nights or whatever goddamn night she came on, you pay her. Every time. Black people watch Roseanne too. Don't think it's just white america no we black people watch roseanne too for whatever the reason are we watched it too we watched it too i watched a couple episodes of the new season but i wasn't in some weird dark place thinking oh well she's not racist those pictures meant nothing she's okay no i was aware of who she is as a person you keep that shit between you and whoever else agrees with you you keep it keep it Keep it somewhere. Like, we don't need more of that in the world. We definitely don't need it on TV. And everybody's like, oh, um, she was tackling things like race and da da da. She gave a full she gave a food stamp card to some to some lady. I don't remember the episode. I didn't watch it. She gave a food stamp card to someone and stood up to that girl. Yeah, but that's acting. Would she do it in real life? Like, what she does in real life has to be punished. Sorry. That's it. That's how I feel about everything. It has to be punished. Did it hurt that they took the Cosby show down? Yes. Does it hurt that they're going to take certain episodes of A Different World down? Yes. Does he deserve to be punished? Yes. Does it suck that everybody else is being punished? Yes. It does. I'm not saying that the Cosby show, but what I'm saying is if they would have allowed the Roseanne show to stay up, then I'm petitioning to put the Cosby show back up because... I don't know nothing about it. It wasn't no Twitter, no Snapchat, no Instagram, no Oval, no Facebook, no nothing. There was nothing when Cosby did what he did. So we don't even have hard evidence other than these women's testimonies. And people lie for money. We are very aware of that. But you're going to take that down. So I would petition to put the show back up. Because how is it that Roseanne can make these racist, racist remarks working with black people on her show? Working with black. She works with them. Okay. She works with them. Her son is friends with them. Us. My people. She can do and say those things. And keep her show. With evidence. Proof. She can keep her show. But he can't. Anybody see the irony in this fuckery? But me. I was having a conversation with a federal YouTuber last night. And we were saying the exact same thing. It's not okay to play the dozens and give a better chance to one person and then not the same opportunity to the next person. We don't know what else Roseanne didn't say. We don't know where else she didn't did. And we don't know. People aren't going to step up and say anything. It's not like the Me Too movement, but Black Lives Matter. 
what? Asian lives matter. Everybody matters, okay? So just because she white, she gets to just say whatever. And because she's Roseanne, she gets to say whatever. And it's just shock value. Then she gave some half-ass apology. That's the part that I think pissed me off the most. It's like, yo, stand in your truth. Fuck it. Like, you just said it. I have way more respect for a person who is honest about who they are instead of trying to portray themselves to be something else. I have way more respect for her because at least I know where the hell you stand and I don't have to worry about or think about if you're really this way or, or did you, like, are you really this way or are you something different? Are you the person that you're apologizing for? Because you're apologizing like I didn't mean anything by it. It's not da, da, da. it was just jokes. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, so now I just be real. Stand in your truth. I said what I said. You canceling my show. All right. That don't change how I feel. Don't change nothing. And then I can be like, well, there it is. Then now we are aware of who Roseanne is as a person and we can move on with life. But you trying to act like you're not who you are. You are who you are. And that's fine. Nobody's mad that you are who you are. I mean, well, people are mad that you are who you are. But there's nothing we can do about it. Don't apologize for being who you are. Your punishment comes because of it sometimes, though. You're a serial killer? Cool. You're going to go to hell or jail. You're going to probably get death or something. But, you know, you are who you are. I, you know, all right, cool, though. Okay. Hey, I know to stay away because you're a goddamn serial killer. Thanks for the truth. I'm going to go to the left. Don't don't apologize for some shit that you're not sorry for. Uh, whatever. Whatever, y'all. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I just had to say that. This is the craziest thing ever. I don't believe people are actually petitioning to keep the show on. And ABC is not going to even answer it. So what's the point? We petitioned. I think people petitioned to keep the Cosby's on. And they didn't. So... I'm sorry if this hurt any feelings. I'm sorry if this is a sensitive topic. I apologize. Not really. Okay, see, that's the shit I'm talking about. I don't apologize. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be discussed. And it needs to be some sense of she did something bad. This is the punishment. Okay. Don't take this shit so personal. It was sentimental to me. It's sentimental to a lot of people. So was a lot of other TV shows that have been canceled that somebody did something and then this was the response when they did something bad. They took the show down or they, they canceled the movie or they canceled the show or they pulled the movie off of, I mean, the, the music off of Spotify. Like, the whole arc. Yep, done. Because see, this about to turn into something else. You guys have an amazing day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that bell notification. Subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. I will be back with my hair plucked out. Probably same outfit on, but the hair will be plucked out because we're going to do Thursday tea today. So I love you guys. Bye.